Flora, the beautiful sunshine state, which might be what you're thinking if you weren't already delusional from the spring heat. Hi, Cindy Thornton from Blue Spirit Homes. Today we're going to talk about the top 10 cons of relocating to Florida. Florida is a beautiful state indeed, and though there are pros to living here, there are plenty of cons as well. Let's start this list off. Ten. Florida is completely flat, and it doesn't have any notable terrain to speak of. If you like mountains, hills, and valleys, you won't find any here. It makes driving around very tedious and not very exciting at all, once you've seen the one millionth palm tree. Nine. Public transportation in Florida is very sparse. Many large cities have a bus system and that's about it. No passenger trains, subway system, or broad taxi service. If you don't feel like driving yourself around in Florida, make Uber your best friend because that is gonna be one of your only options. Eight. Cost of living in Florida may be higher than what you're used to. A few surveys determined that Florida is about 30th in cost of living. While it's not terribly high, a sticker shock may s still happen for some people. As of this video, a gallon of milk is about $3.59, one bedroom apartment for $1,500 a month, $2.38 for a gallon of gas, and about $15 per person at an inexpensive restaurant. While lower than a lot of areas, it may be higher than yours and might be not to your liking. Seven. There is no such thing as spring, summer, fall, winter in Florida. There are only two seasons, summer and pre-summer. Summer runs all year round, while pre-summer is just the month of January. All kidding aside, but not really. If you like how the leaves change colors for the fall in your state, you may not like it here. If you like how the weather gradually gets warmer after winter and not instantly, you may not like it here. Six. A lot of drivers in the road in Florida may surprise you of how recklessly they drive. A speed limit signs in the road seems like they only serve as a suggestion. Traffic accidents rates are very high in Florida, especially along the highways. Road rage also seems to be a large problem in Florida. Because our state is densely populated, rush hour is terrible here. And without adequate public transportation, everyone has to drive, which makes it even worse. Five. If you're looking for the majesty and beauty that is our great state, you may have probably finding it. Florida is based largely on a tourist economy and it really shows, especially in larger cities. Shopping malls, restaurants, gift shops, and attractions galore. If, no, if that's not your thing, you have to go off the beaten path to experience true Florida. The lack of attention to the real beauty of Florida may disappoint you. Four. Florida is a very humid state and bugs and pests love it, love it, love it. If you like cockroaches, fruit flies, snakes, mosquitoes, and all the creepy crawlies, you love it here. No matter how clean you think your home in Florida is, pests will still find their way in. And that's how it is. Mosquitoes are a huge problem along with fruit flies, especially after rainfall. And snakes also love to make their home in many people's yards. If you want to avoid the hustle and bustle of Florida, my suggested cities of Yeha Junction, never heard of it? How about Yankee Town? These are cities that have a population of less than 1,000 and can almost guarantee you peace and quiet. Cities like Jacksonville, Miami, Orlando, and Tampa have surrounding areas that are also very dense in population. Railways can get very crowded and most of the density is along the coastlines and can make you feel very claustrophobic after a while. Two. Did you know that Florida is the lightning capital of the United States? Lakeland, Florida especially takes the number one spot 
and out of the top 10, seven of those here are here in Florida. Hurricanes are also extremely co uh, common in Florida and can cause massive destruction. Even if you don't experience loss of life and limb, you can also experience flooding and power outage. The destructive weather in Florida is not a joke and may be a turn off from people wanting to move here. One. Florida is hot, hot, hot. The weather is nice, sure, but boy is it hot. Did I mention already the Florida is hot? Oh, and humid, can't forget about that. Feeling like taking a shower? Don't bother. You'll still be sweating once you get out of that shower. Florida can average 90 degree heat on a daily basis during the summer and still hover around the low 80s during the quote unquote cooler months. If you love to sweat all the time, you love it here. There's no comfortable transition from hot to cold here, and your hair always looks like this once you walk out of the door. If you like this video, click on our link in the description below, which will take you to a relocation guide if you're thinking of moving to Florida. See you on the next one.